along something that I could not get in Iceland or make or find in Iceland. Now you can find and make a lot of stuff in Iceland. You've got a lot of sheep, you know, you can make leather and so on, uh, wool, uh, and uh, you also have uh, bog iron, so you can uh, smelt your swords and all that important fighter stuff. But no other metals in period, in the Middle Ages, uh, were uh, found or mined in Iceland. They exported sulfur, a very volcanic country, but everything else had to be imported, including copper and including tin especially, which is only, still today, only found in a few special areas in the world. At the time, it was found in Cornwall. So I would bring with me to Iceland a big hunkin' slab of bronze. Okay? <laughs> this is period bronze. You won't <coughs> find this very much anymore. Most bronzes today are made like with aluminum and all that stuff that they didn't have in period. This is 11% tin, 89% copper. Okay, proper period bronze. And you could, the advantage of bronze is you can melt it down at lower temperatures, much lower than cast iron, which didn't exist at the time, lower even than copper, pure copper or silver or gold. <coughs> And you can make stuff that you cannot make with these other products. Like bells. With the right composition of, um, of copper alloy, you can make a bell that uh, has a nice sustain to it. And this is what people used in Ireland. Uh, to, uh, to call to, uh, to mass. In fact, when the Norse settled in 876 AD in Iceland, they found Irish monks already there, and they report on them and their, their bells, okay, in the, uh, the Landama book, the book of settlements, and the Islanding book, the book of the Icelander. Uh, and these guys, they're Kodis, or they were called the Papar by the Norse, were monks and hermits that just wanted to get away from the world, so they got in their leather boats, as described in the voyage of St. Brendan, and they just sailed all over the place. Some people thought they um, uh, uh, might have made it to uh, North America. So the bell towers were uh, not really well known in Ireland until uh, amongst the Gales for a long time, so you just had a, a bellman standing at the door of the church, ringing the bell to call the people to, uh, to church. So this particular item, might not be a uh, proper bell bronze, which is about uh, 20 to 24 percent tin. Uh, that makes it stiffer, but still very tough, so it won't crack. But it uh, it still gives a nice a nice ring to it. Are there any questions? Thank you very much.